When putting together a film, it's the role of the production company to create the physical product as such, and later on the distribution company, often the same institution, are responsible for getting that product out to the public, publicizing it, and making sure that it brings in money. Given that the film is a British horror, it's likely to be produced by companies such as Pinewood Studios, who are of course famous for doing some of the later Alien films, and uh, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Father of Fleet Street, all of which are horror oriented films, or perhaps even Pathé, who produced films such as uh, Severance in 2006, who are equally sort of horror oriented. And the, the role of these companies will be to get together the cast, the crew, but another important feature is that they deal with funding. Unlike the Hollywood model, where in films often make enough money to sort of support the studio, which can then fund further films, the European model relies on other donations. Um, one of the main ones of these would, of course, be the government. Uh, in Britain, this is likely to come in the form of the UK Film Council, who receive both uh, government funding as well as uh, money from the National Lottery. And uh, all of this is put towards uh, bringing out the film and just, just generally helping the studios uh, due to the European model's lack of revenue compared to the Hollywood model. When it came to the titles, rather than list the fairly common uh, directed by so-and-so first, uh, I instead opted to go for a Gabriel Reeves film. This was more of a creative decision. The important factor to note is that the director was listed first, uh, which is common for many, well, most films. I then followed that up with the writer, uh, the script writer, um, because that would, of course, then be the next most important job to actually having the film get produced. Um, that is then followed by the soundtrack, and later on by the actors themselves. Again, being a low-budget film with no big names, the actors are actually a fairly small part of the titles. It's, uh, it's the production team which get the most credit. Um, and the actors, it's all, it's all under one um, title. So you have starring, and then it lists a few. And then, again, in the style of a lot of these, these films, um, I put what would be the big name at the end uh, with, attached to and. Or another title, um, for instance, also starring or introducing might be if it was a new actor. But uh, I use and only felt that, uh, or something that I have started to notice, is that these smaller companies, such as Fuzzy Door, uh, they just tend to have fairly odd names. And I thought I'd make it something which is quite obscure and quite quaint sounding almost, which is. Uh, like I say, I've noticed it with other production companies.